All right, guys, Good Boy 32 here. Check it out. Sitting out here in the Freedom Shack, getting ready to do a review on this guy right here. This is a rifle bag made by a company called Lynx Defense right here in the good old USA, as a matter of fact, North Carolina. Michael Savage sent this out to me. Uh, as you remember, one of the things that I have used on a day-to-day -day basis is that pistol uh, bag, range bag, but I use it kind of as a range bag to keep a bunch of other stuff in it, and I use it daily. Let me preface this whole video with you by saying this. I use different rifle bags every day, every week. Uh, some have made it, some have failed. Where I found that the most of the failures are, are in the zipper. And the failure is where the zipper has tied into this regular fabric right here. So uh, Michael over there, Michael Savage with Lynx Defense, he has developed in what I think is probably a really, really good bag because one of the things that I like about a rifle bag is not that it's all tactical. The tactical stuff is really cool with, with the exception of when you're trying to go through a hotel lobby or you're trying to go from your car to your apartment or your house when your neighbors are all sitting out there. It's nobody's business that I've got something really cool in this bag. And if you got all kinds of magazine pockets and all kinds of crap hanging off of it, well, that just explodes like tactical, 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 there's a gun, gun, gun. Okay, so what did he do? He came up with a really cool bag that reminds me a lot of, uh, say for instance, a snowboard bag, except this one's, well, it's a very short snowboard. It's 36 inches in length. That's the internal clearance. We'll put it over here on the table so we can go over the internal details. But what I wanted to do was just kind of show you what the bag looked like and it's open right here. The cool thing is you've got a just a badass canvas or I don't know, nylon carry handle. It's nothing too much. It's simple. The thing, the key part about this bag is the simplicity. You've got a carry strap. There's no padding or anything else like that. This guy right here, all of these can be removed and placed inside. Very simple, very easy. I do like that. The material on this guy is called a 600D polyester magna tough. And it's similar to the 600D Cordura but it's a polymer lined and it's weatherproof. Uh, a cool thing about this particular bag is it does come with say an external pocket right here. You can wrap it around like there, cool. You, you can put your pistol in there. This happens to be a Smith & Wesson M&P in 45 and a Bianchi holster that was sent to me by my good friend, BJ Weed. BJ, Merry Christmas. Anyway, uh, we're gonna be doing a full month of 45 ACP in the upcoming days. But I like this thing also because, well, you can put your mags up here. It doesn't give that tactical, big old, here, I've got a gun kind of thing. That's one of the beauties of this. And the reason you're seeing an AK-47 mag in here is that I thought it'd be interesting to show you what was inside here. Now, this will fit most of your 16-inch length barrel systems with a collapsible stock. I always remember that. I run a lot of those Ace uh Skeleton eye stocks that will not fit in this thing, especially with a long, uh, what do you call it, uh, muzzle brake. Now, the cool part about it is it does have a hard surface on both the front and the back. But as you can see in here right now, I've got a AK-47 mounted in here. Now, to fit with the individuality of each weapon that you come up with, one of the things that he did do was he's got these Velcro straps in here. And what that does is you don't necessarily just wrap the, the weapon or the firearm. You're actually able to situate it the way you see it. And then you can tie down both ends of it real close right there. And a cool part about it, that Velcro is absolutely ridiculously strong. And it will not allow for the firearm to move up, down, left, or right. Okay? So... Another thing that we'll go ahead and I'll take this apart here real quickly. These are removable. They do have little tabs on them right here. I wanted to be able to show you that. I love this thing. This is the PSAK 47 with a three times magnified scope on it set up for the 7.62 by 39. 49, so whatever. One of those things that this thing shoots. This guy's dead nuts out to 600 yards. I love it. But what I wanted to show you was this is, remember the Econ 1? Yeah, I still have this guy. This thing uh, fits in here like a glove. One of the things that I always encourage people to make sure of, and this is one of the things I asked Michael about, will it fit a 16-inch barreled carbine with a scope? 
And as you can see right here, we'll go ahead and put this thing in here. You can place it in here just like that. And yes, it will. And when you do place it in here, it's not going to go anywhere, which means you've got that secured system and you don't have to worry about it shifting or going anywhere. See how it holds it up just like that? Very nice. Now, one of the things that he did make a point of telling me, and I don't know if we'll be able to do this with an AK as well as an AR platform, is that you can conceivably, you could put two firearms in here. One of the things that I absolutely like about this deal is that it is a four inches of depth right here. So you've got a hard surface on that side, you have a hard surface on that side. And let's just see for shits and giggles if it'll actually do what we want. Well, I tell you what, probably not a good, you could if you wanted to chance putting your grips together. Uh, you could do it like that. I don't think that that's one of the things that I want to do, especially like on a competition rifle if I'm out maneuvering around the country and having fun. Another thing that this bag incorporates is an entire Velcro section right here where you can put, if you have your own uh, holster systems, uh, you've got some other things that you can put. This one comes with just a simple bag right here. And if I had a magazine laying around, I thought I did. You can put your magazine in here and then there's a small pocket right here. But if you had an IFAC or something else, and I know uh, Lynx Defense sells a really cool IFAC package, you can put one of those right here. Uh, Really cool. All right, the details. Where are the details in this guy? Why is this thing $199 today? And you can use multiple gift cards. And he's got it set up. If you have multiple gift cards, you can go ahead and do that. Uh, the double stitching. The stitching is where the money's at. Material is really good material. But where you are going to see the longevity of this program or this rifle bag are, is the stitching. So what I want to do is I'm going to bring the camera over to the review table and I want to go in and show you some of the cool things that I will tell you make the difference in a bag. Here we go. Stand by. All right. So now we got this thing over on the review table. I'm going to go over some of the details that uh, we need to elaborate on, on. So one of the things that people want to know is what is the actual interior length going across here? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure from that seam, and pull this thing out. We'll measure to that seam right there. So. Moving across, it is an actual 36 in the clear. You can go that direction or that direction. Across, we've got 12 inches from here to here. And then our full length depth is three and three quarter inches. When you add this, it goes ahead and you got four inches in total depth, which is really cool because if you've got big old fat things with some PEG 15s or whatever else on there and a lot of flashlights, you need that room. Another thing that you can use is this space over here to store other materials. You got IFAX, different types of bags with Velcro backings, that kind of thing. I would like to add that these straps do have these little tabs on here right here. So we got a carry handle right here. So one of the things that I want to do is I'm going to carry my rifle in the upper position. So we'll go ahead and take it just like this, make sure we are clear and we're good to go. And as you can see, it sits in there perfectly, upside down to you, but it sits in there perfectly because with a scope and you have plenty of clearance from top to bottom. Then all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these straps. I don't need to show you guys this. I'm sure you can figure it out. But if you tuck those tight like there, it's creating a pocket right there that keeps this thing from going anywhere. Let's go ahead and put this over here. Put this one here. And again, like I said, this thing's on sale today for uh, $199. I'll put the link down below. Link's Defense. American made. These guys employ all Americans right out there near uh, Fort Bragg or somewhere in the central part of Pennsylvania. But in any case, uh, pretty cool little system. Let's talk about the double stitching. All the stitching is double stitch. Now, I'll tell you this. This is where the failure is going to be. And I'll show you, give you an example real quickly. I, uh, I'm a big fan of these UTGs. As you can see, this one's pretty beat up. But what's happened here, as you can see, is that this zipper has completely failed. And the only zipper that I have is good. But you can see the differences in the zippers. This is a more of a Y2K zipper platform. And just absolutely awesome. This is a rigid backing here, as well as you have a rigid backing here so it provides additional protection 
Everything right here is double stitched all the way around, cross sections as you can see there and there. But holding up with the zipper, that's where the biggest failure points are. As you can see, one of the things I always look at is the ease. It does Because honestly, zippers piss me off, especially when it's cold outside. I'm trying to get stuff done. It's very frustrating. Uh, one of those things, I get things tangled up, but that's it. Yes, anyway. So that's it. This is the Bronx. The reason it's called the Bronx is because it's simple. It's easy. It's not really... Uh, it doesn't scream, I got a gun. And then secondly, we got these little tabs right here. Just notice that. So if you wanted to put your shoulder straps on that side, you could. You got these tabs right here. Let's just say that. Uh, very simple, very easy. Only thing I would suggest is I would like to see a shoulder pad on this guy right here. But I do like the simplicity of this one. And that's it. Um, as far as bags go, I think $199 for this is an acceptable price. I do like the fact that you've got some stuff like this. But again, uh, if I had a bunch of my holsters laying around that actually do have that Velcro backing, you can put your uh, put this system in right here. And you'd have to pull the gun. Yeah, you get what I'm saying, but you could go ahead and Velcro in a uh, thing right there. I know that the guys over there at Maxpedition, they make a really cool deal to strap in right there. But if you don't have that, just put it in right there. And if you need access to your sidearm, well, there you go. It's sitting right there. Good material. I'm not going to try to sell it anymore. It sells itself. All right. With that being said, guys, Merry Christmas. Uh, I'll put the link down below. And you guys take advantage of that. Again, one of the things he did was he was able to combine. If you have a bunch of gift cards, you can use the gift cards uh, by stacking those one on top of each other. But with that being said, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless us men, women in uniform. 24-7 for our freedom. Freedom sometimes comes in 5.56 five, with the big old you-know-glue. <laughs> Y'all be good. Merry Christmas.